All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another video. Uh, I'm Alex Antuna, and I'm going to continue this lunch sculpt I started. And now I'm starting to get into um, the poly painting. And if you followed the other videos, I've got a little bit more poly painting going on. Uh, let's see what's going on. With this I could probably subdivide that. Get some variations in here. But they're not too clean. Do a little poly painting, a little I don't know. We'll just figure out what we can do. Brush P paint. Let's paint something in here. Let's go with a little darker. Let's sample C and go darker. I'm gonna accent this a little bit, not too much, that's too much. Just a little bit. Let's drop this intensity. And go from there. Just kind of a little fake ambient occlusion, I guess, if you can call it anything. Just kind of get some crevices and stuff. More in and outs. Just kind of accent. Really want the lighting to play a big part in the end. So where where was I going to go with this after after all this texturing? Getting the poses I was thinking is going to tool bag in Marmoset. I think that'll be a good way to go. So let's get this. Get this flesh looking stuff going here. A little fleshy. A little bit of gum transitioning into the face. Let's line it up a little bit more and just kind of peek it. Just kind of give a little something. And we could vary this to be not even part of that. It'll be like our own little section. That's where you got a little uh, breakage from that. Let's give it a different color. I don't want to go green. I might go more flesh. Fleshy here. Just make it go that route. Peaks up with that. Just kind of flesh them up. So I think I'll probably start posing. Get a little bit of a continuation these things right here let's kind of vein them up a little fleshish fleshy fleshish is that a word my fleshish so let's kind of vein them up give them a little color this thing right here I wanted to make it a little pronounced but I don't know um, can give us some ambient occlusion kind of selection. Let's go into that. Uh, oh, let's see, mask. And don't forget to save. I don't know why last time it locked up mask by AO and we'll buff it just a little bit. Eh, maybe a little bit more. Clear that out. The other option is mask by cavity. That might give me a little bit more interesting something. Like this. See how it looks in a bit. Clear it. Yeah. Something. But also was thinking is <clears throat> maybe having two kind of like it like it's intertwined I don't know I don't even know if you're gonna see that far down doesn't matter right it just goes into his neck kind of have a breakage there kind of transitions 
too much though. Yeah, just kind of give them a little in and outs. Like there, he needs a little bit of something. Minor details. Loosen, just kind of dig it out. Go in that route. There we go. <clears throat> and go here too. Doesn't all have to be harm it. Like there you go. Just kind of brush it in and out with this. You kind of got a, a weave look. That going okay I think we can pose them now let's figure out a pose because I'm gonna put them in the tool bag but we're also gonna have to unwrap them now I can probably do that now and if I really wanted to don't forget to save get some of this stuff and even then uh, once I get it to tool bag I can paint even in there I'm trying to debate do I want to keep his eyes black? I think that works. I think that works a little bit. Let's get his teeth though. Let me get his teeth just a little bit more uh, yellow. Something darker. Something there. Brush P A. Let's go. Just kind of stain them a little bit. That way they're not too perfect. And then I'll, I'll move them after. I get it a little more post. Let's get this darker, a little more dark. That way we can kind of break that up. So he's not too. His teeth don't need to be that clean, right? Just yellow them up. He's a monster. There we go. They could also have like a color. Just, just a bury him up because he's not human not uh, a fish or alien or I don't know well, he's kind of alien right but we want to break it up break it up some more just little things here and there there you go a little better all right let, let me pose I'm gonna save quick save and so we're gonna pose if I select this if I go down oh come on select them that's his low poly and if I were to go into here you can see his mesh low poly mesh in here up oh, high poly same thing with this uh, I don't know if I've added <coughs> four subdivisions up and down you can barely see it so let's do that let me let's figure out what we want to do Let's see. Let's grab this tool, ZBrush plugins. Drag it over here. I'm gonna drop this down. Now, what I probably should do is unwrap them because I don't plan on adding any more geometry. I'm just gonna keep playing with this. So let's. Let's go to UV Master and let's work on a clone. This will help um, get you a low, your lowest mesh. This is one of them. Might as well, right? We're just going to start anywhere. Auto group so that they're all separate and then it'll un unwrap it. We can use symmetry if we want. Poly groups is on. Unwrap. You want to see what it looks like? You flatten it out. That's it. Copy. And so, what it did is made a little scene out of it we're going to go back to our main scene with all these objects and then paste and we can turn off that start at the top i don't need this mesh we already used it we're going to delete it keep keep a little clean work environment we're going to back out see what we got hmm. 
So it, it changed the material when it jumped back and forth, and this is already kind of, it's not applied. You can see that I'm just jumping around back and forth. It'll drop at the skin shader. You can just see like the diffuse. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna work on a clone. We got the mesh. We're gonna unwrap it. Symmetry. We could use polygroups if I were to really want to uh, kind of, and I'll show you what I mean. That's if this applies all the way over. I don't know if it'll copy that way, but we could try. We could try this. Unwrap. And then we'll flatten. And there you have it. So unflatten. We're going to go back to this and paste. Incompatible UVs not paste. Alright. So what I think happened is this has to be on its own. I think it's got to match the poly groups, I'm guessing. So let's do this again. Unwrap. Flatten. Unflatten. Copy. Go to my main file. Paste. Summon to preserve, yes, whatever. So it looks like it got something. As long as it copied over, we don't really care. That's all we really need. <clears throat> okay, this might be a good way to know. So if I go through each of my mesh, you'll say delete. Shows it doesn't have a UV. Really, I'm not gonna do a clone. I'm just gonna unwrap it. Uh, we'll do auto groups. And we can see which one we're on. Unwrap. Ooh, I don't know if that one had um, a subdivision um, in there. It might take a little longer. That's the only bad thing. Let me let me un undo. Yeah, yeah. Let's undo because really, if you're gonna go to another program and you don't do this step, it, your your mesh is gonna be heavy. It could also like not work. And it's just a little piece that I don't really I shouldn't really be fussing too bad about. Let me, un let me cancel if it will let me. Okay, it did not let me, uh, so I had to let it play out. So I paused the video. So let's do this. Uh, really, there's not much to this model right here, so we can. Um, can Z remesh it. I don't know if it'll keep the poly group, so let's see what happens. So this is where, all right, this is a good example. This kind of helps out. So I'm going to duplicate. And we're going to go and do what we do is project up and down, right? So this will help project all the good stuff in there. So we're going to go half, C remesh, and we're going to do the skin, but we're going to project the poly paint back onto this mesh. And that should help us in there. We can solo it. Really look at this mesh. Still heavy. Adaptive. Turn it off. Let's just go lower. We want a clean, low mesh with this. What we can do is keep keep going until we get it low, and that looks decent. So we're gonna turn on, turn off all this, turn these off. We don't want this stuff. I don't want teeth. We're gonna project it. Project with color, geometry, project all. It says it's got poly paint. You want it? Yes. Turn this on. Turn that off. And so I can subdivide it maybe two times. Turn that back on. Project. 
you know what we should have look at a little floating geometry right there that I don't need but it's whatever deletes that so now we got this back Let's turn everything else on usually if you have a bunch of model pieces this will take a long time not a long time but it, it can take a little bit just to clean up your your geometry clean it clean it all up and I could always add a texture on this after when I get to the other program I can add you, you can add layers it's always like um, it's not too bad all right so let's unwrap shouldn't take requires one lower subdivision yes that's right let's work on clone <laughs> unwrap getting ahead of myself okay on flatten copy let's go back to here you got a selected paste next one let's see what we got this is the tongue there's no subdivisions so we'll go ahead and do what we did let's just duplicate and rinse and repeat duplicate this is actually like the part where you're gonna be like uh, this takes forever like yeah a little bit of rinse and repeat in this uh, that you gotta do so we'll go here Z remesh we'll go half because really it's just it's a small detail but um, does it hurt let's get it down project project all yes Subdivide, project all. Yeah, it should be good. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, missing some details. Let's go up. Subdivide, subdivide, project all. So now you can see it. Now you got details. Let's delete the old. Now let's go to the next part teeth these look fairly low and they're gonna do auto groups and all let's just uh, there's probably no subdivisions let's just see what happens let's quick save just in case I gotta stop the video again let's just do this press it there it's going pretty quick not too bad and then flatten you can see it nice and go to the next mesh this one we need to work on a clone symmetry flatten that looks good we're gonna copy see if once you do this a few times you're gonna you'll, you'll be in and out you'll be like I got this paste uh, go to the eyes <coughs> these look like I don't think I've subdivided them did I no, so let's we'll just unwrap them. Flatten. There you go. Unflatten. We're good. So that should be everything. There we go. Oh, and it didn't really matter that I had, um, I didn't do the color fill object all the way. we're gonna shine them up right and even then I can still add um, the thing oh check this out so this is um, interesting right here that um, I go down and see if it keeps the color so there's my color let's draw something let's go to the history brush history recall control click and then let's go up here and turn off this and let's see if this works we'll go 100% current brush can be used while symmetry mode is active turn it off yeah sure why not who cares now get my paint back looks like I lost a little in translation but it's whatever Again, I, I'm going to a different program, but this is just good 
to keep in here. That's what's good about that history brush. You can go back and um, I think a lot of it was this much reflective. It kind of had that look, right? It's mainly that material. Just want to make sure you paint everything so you don't get little weird splotches and then you're like, oh, that just kind of killed my mesh. Not killed it, but you know, just make a little splotchiness that a little harder to fix later on. Is there anything there? Let's just keep going. Try to use my time wisely. Get any in there. This other thing is that a uh, symmetry. If I had that on, big help. All right. Looks like we're good. Getting all this in there. Teeth are good. What's next? This is low. It's got it good. And we're good. Save. Don't forget to save. I'm gonna pose. Let's pose. Let's go to. So everything's got a map. Let's make sure. Let's go to UV. And I'm just gonna press. Go through each layer. Oh, that didn't have a map. What was that? What is that? His tongue. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. So let's do a tongue. Reset. Clears everything else. Get rid of everything. Work on a clone. Why not? There we go. Unwrap. Symmetry. Symmetrize. Flatten. There we go. Looks nice. Good unwrap. Good clean. Unwrap. Copy these back to here. Paste. And turn that off. See the teeth? Uh, well, yeah, I thought I had symmetry mode off. So that paint thing is still there. Let's just see what's up with that. That's odd. I thought I painted everything, but you can start to see. Maybe it needs a division. And go from there. There we go. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to paint all this in there. And I guess, really, if I want to, I can uh, see, darken. Got a little darker. Start painting. And, but I can use symmetry because, really, uh, brush, P, A, paint. You can do that. Let's, let's just go drop it down. RGB, paint, paint. We'll get that. And let's just kind of re, re up some of this stuff. Yellow it up keep trying to get to that symmetry part real quick I keep missing it so let's this he's trying to get it from being splotchy and even if there is like spots on his teeth it doesn't really matter if I put it to reflective probably about like that so let's go to the next step and don't forget to save all right sub tool master Nope, it's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> trying to get my mind right. All right, let's try this. Transpose master. And usually I can work with the gizmo. This seems to be a little bit. Um, sometimes it's quicker. I guess it depends on how many meshes you have. I found over the years that sometimes it would break, and didn't work, and then I was just like, kind of bugged that it lost some detail or some information. But uh, we're just gonna we're gonna work with this. All right, let's turn off perspective because I need to grab some stuff sym symmetrically, and we're gonna go here, mask, and then I'm gonna brush that mask off. So now I got like a a selection. So let's move this down. Let's angle it just right as if we're rigging in another program to where if we need to move his neck that way. I might want another click of a fall off. So let's fall it off just enough. There we go. So I want his head to tilt and like, you know, just kind of, kind of reaching, you know, reaching up. The other thing is, let's see, 
do we want his mouth to, to move? We don't know. Let's find out. Let's grab that. Let's see. Go this. Center it. And angle, angle. Let's put it right here. Can we set this to me? Just enough. I don't know if we're gonna move it. We'll just, we'll just, we'll see what it does. Cause really, if you kind of do like that, that might help a little. Just kind of little too much, right? It says jaw. Let's move that there. Where's jaw opens? Even this up. Even this up. Even. Ooh, look at that. I can scale it down. Just a little bit. Give him that little bit of overbite. That's kind of not too bad. I like that. Let's do it. Let's just 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 tease it. Yeah. Now his upper teeth are chomping into you. And then the other thing is just like just kind of just angle it just a little bit. You don't want them perfect, right? They don't have to be perfect. So let's go from there. Rest of his body, let's grab that mask it and reset, pivot, and maybe just just a little just a little something there, right? Something's there. You can either angle him up, angle him back. See how we want to go. His neck is coming out. That. The other thing is, all right. So if I go in perspective, is he reaching up, or is he going like that? Look at that! Rawr. You can kind of, kind of be uh, menacing. I kind of want him a little. There you go. So you can see his other side of his face and kind of see in his mouth cavity, but. That could work too. I might do multiple angles once I get to a tool bag. I'm trying to figure out where that. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna bend them forward. That way you kind of got a reach all the way across the screen, maybe. What I might do is flip them because that would be left to right or right to left, right? So I think we'll go with this. I'm not going to always pulse them again. Let it process, do its thing, jump up back forth. All right, let's see what it's got. His eye. This is where it gets scary. Like if the eye doesn't go back, you're like, no, no. So see, something is a little weird, right? So this is where you start, you got a little TLC. Select this, drop that down. This is where we kind of we're gonna start to break him up drop him more this is where you would have like a little snarl let's break the symmetry so right there just kind of a little bit up I don't want oh okay symmetry's turned on let's turn that off I don't want that come back up okay let's turn off symmetry let's do this raise it up raise that down we got push and pull uh, let's see some of the detail that we're 
pushing in there. There's gonna be a cavity in there. We can still model even after this. I think I just kind of get a little in a hurry to get some of this in there. Raise that nose a little bit, like I said. Raise these teeth. That way you can kind of see a little bit of a snarl. You start to see that character just trying to bite down a little bit of cheekbone. Pulling these things up. Don't forget to bring every other mesh with you too. You can move everything. This, I can kind of Got a weird thing. The tongue does need a move. Let's get that kind of there. We go a little bit back and forth. The teeth, yeah, that was bugging me earlier. All right, they're gonna go brush move topology. T topology. This one right here, move topology. And what this will do is, if these are polygrouped, I'll grab the teeth. You see they're all different polygroups. I can actually grab and turn off symmetry. I need to do a grab, uh, auto groups, auto groups. Still grabbing too much geometry. Why is it grabbing that? You're not supposed to be grabbing more than one. What happened? It's got the same color. I bet they're connected. Watch. Boom. Connected. That's why. Well then. Well then. I'm just going to have to work around that. Let's go here. If I can pop one off. Push it there. See? You're not the boss of me. I'm going to tell you what to do, computer. For now, right? And for now. Play nice, computer. Play nice. There we go. We're just gonna we're just gonna offset each little one. Give some chaos, cause nothing is perfect. This dude's got some jacked up teeth, so let's get some teeth back and forth. He didn't get to go to the dentist growing up, so his teeth are a little little crooked, you know? You got that one tooth, you know, he's like, man. Always wanted to get that tooth worked on, but he couldn't. Pushing that out, pushing that in, that. Ooh, yep. Breaking it up. More chaos, right? Chaos to the madness. Okay. We got a longer one, a shorter one. A pointier one. That's probably why he's mad. Teeth just aren't right. You just can't close the mouth. It's like if you knew. So there goes that. Let's give some of this brush. Just kind of pull some of this. Click that. Just kind of kind of pull that in a little bit. I'm just trying to break up. A symmetrical look. I don't want him to be the same. I want to try to change him. Turn off symmetry, buddy. There we go. That way we can see what he is. Hey. Bump him up. Let's see. Bump his resolution. I think that's about pretty close. I'm just kind of vignette his his character as I get there, but. For today, it is out of time, but 
we did get them moved around posed from what we had so we can kind of get a little more various features and everything else and get them to the next stage the next stage will be exporting them out as a uh, fpx into uh tool bag we'll go to tool bag i like tool bag it's my one of my favorite uh, painting programs and rendering programs and stuff like that it's pretty straightforward pretty cool so if you stick around that far you'll see a little bit more of this process going from here to there so hope uh doing well out there and have a good day later